Hey guys, so my name is Jess and I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to download and set up your passionate penny pincher planner files um, to use with GoodNotes and Dropbox. Um, if you have any questions throughout this tutorial or if after you've seen the whole thing you still have questions, please feel free to comment below on this video wherever I end up posting it and I'll be happy to try and help you um, navigate or troubleshoot any issues. Um, this particular tutorial is specifically for the iPad um, using the two apps, GoodNotes and Dropbox. So let's dive right in. First, I'm going to show you the Dropbox app, which is the bright blue icon that you see on the screen. Um, this is where you're gonna save your files to. This is where you're gonna download everything so that it can live there. So if you click on it real quick, you see that I created a folder and I just labeled it PPP Planner 2023 just so that I know where I'm putting everything um, so that it can be nice and neat in one place and I'm not like jumping around looking for it. Um, so make sure you download this first and set up your account and create a folder for yourself so that you have a spot to download everything to. Um, Next, you wanna make sure you download GoodNotes. I believe there is a free version um, with limited access to all like the, the bells and whistles, um, but I paid like $8 for it and it's a one-time fee and you never have to pay it again. So I think if you really wanna use the digital planner, definitely pay for it, but that's obviously your decision, your choice to make. Um, that's just what I did and so that's how everything is working out well for me. So now let's jump in to the email. So once you get this email with all the files on it, you're going to scroll to the bottom and it's going to show you the home planner digital files section. This, these are the files that we need to download. Um, so there's obviously a PDF file that's a how-to guide which obviously you can follow that too. Um, but if you're a visual learner like me, something like this tutorial will probably help you um, follow the steps a little bit easier. So next we have the 2023 Digital Planner with Tabs PDF. This is the file that we want to download. So I'm going to click on it and it brings you to my planner. This is the cover that I chose. And if I scroll down real quick, you see that it has the open book layout of every single page in your planner. So from here, you are going to go to your upper right hand corner um, on your toolbar and you're going to click on this little square with the arrow coming out of it icon. Once you do that, it's going to bring you a drop down menu and you have to scroll to the bottom or wherever on your screen it shows save to Dropbox. If you don't see it, click on edit action and make sure that it is selected in here. So my save to Dropbox is here, so I'm going to click on it. Then this other window is gonna pop up. It's going to ask me where I want to save um, my file to. So I already created the passionate penny pincher planner folder, so that's where I would save my planner to. Since I already have it saved, I'm not going to hit save here, but you would hit save, it's gonna load it, and then it's gonna ask you if you wanna see it um, in the folder and you can click on it to see that it is in fact in your Dropbox. But for now, I'm gonna hit cancel. Once you do that, you're gonna go to the back arrow, you're gonna go back into your email, and you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom again. And next, we are going to click on 2023 Digital Sticker Book GoodNotes. Um, there's also a 2023 Digital Sticker Book PDF. You can download both. Um, but the, the GoodNotes one is the one that I'm going to focus on. So we're gonna click on that. At the bottom of the screen, you're gonna see the file name pop up with the little blue download. So I'm gonna click on that and then another blue text is gonna pop up and it's going to say open in. 
So you wanna click on that and a pop-up window is gonna come onto your screen and you're going to hit save to Dropbox. Now here, and I'm just gonna rename this to give you an example. Um, and I'm just writing test because I'm going to delete this file since I already have it in my Dropbox, but I wanna walk you through the process of downloading it. So I picked the folder I wanted to download to, which is the little checkbox there, and I'm going to hit save. So it's gonna to upload to Dropbox, upload complete, and then it's gonna ask you to copy link or show in folder. So if we click show in folder, you're gonna see on the left-hand side that I did in fact download my test file, which is the stickers, um, into my Passionate Penny Pincher Planner folder that I created in Dropbox. So that's where everything's gonna live. Um, next, we're gonna go back to our digital files. And if you want to, you can also download the 2023 individual sticker folder zip. This is a zip file. You're gonna go through the same process as the previous download, and I would save it into my Passionate Penny Pincher folder. So once you do that, if I go back in here, you see all my files are in the folder I created for this planner. And once you do all that, now you're gonna go into GoodNotes. So we're going to click on the GoodNotes app and I already have, again, I already did this on my GoodNotes, but I'm going to download everything and walk you through the process. So on the left-hand side, there is a blue dotted line rectangle with a plus on it that says new. You're gonna select that and you're gonna go down to where it says import. You're gonna click on import and you want to make sure that you are selecting Dropbox. Okay, so once your Dropbox content pops up on your screen, you are going to go to the folder you created for your digital planner files. So for me, it's this one. And I'm going to look for my planner, which is the second item on this list, and I'm going to cl click on it. It's importing documents. And once it's done, boom. Your planner is inside of GoodNotes and I can scroll and I can see all the pages. And as you see on every tab that I'm on, the checklist changes from pink to blue. Um, you can also jump tabs from each month. Um, and a bunch of other stuff. And if you guys want a separate tutorial on kind of how to navigate through GoodNotes, I'm happy to create it. But right now I'm gonna focus on getting all your files in and getting you started that way. So once your planner is in here, we're gonna go back to home. This is your planner inside of Good, GoodNotes. We are going to the upper left-hand corner, that little arrow, the blue one, and we're gonna click on it and I'm going to select that new icon again, and I'm going to select import again, and I'm going to now select um, my stickers, which is this third little square that's up here. So I'm gonna click on that, it's gonna do the same thing, import the files, and once it's done, my sticker book is gonna pop up. And then I can do the same thing, um, sort of scrub through the screen to the pages and all my stickers are here. And again, if you want a tutorial on how to use this with the planner, um, I'm happy to make a separate uh, tutorial for that. But this is kind of the gist of it to get the files into GoodNotes so that you could use them. And it's super important to download them to Dropbox and then import them into GoodNotes via Dropbox because when you do that, then you can use the hyperlinks here um, to jump around using the tabs. If you import 
let's say if you were to download the files to your files or your downloads folder on your computer or on your iPad, the hyperlinks won't work. And I found that out the hard way. So it really does need to be downloaded into Dropbox, um, mainly for the purpose of your hyperlinks working properly. So if you'll see here, um, we are on the sticker book page right now. And right next to it is the planner page. And that's pretty much it. That's how you get your files in there. That's the method of doing it so that your hyperlinks work. I really think that that's the most important part um, so that you can kind of feel like you're getting the most out of the planner because otherwise you have to scrub like this to get to every section. And I don't know about you, but that would drive me crazy. So that's how you do it. If you have any questions or if I left anything out, please let me know and I'll be happy to answer your questions. So happy planning, you guys. I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments if you found it helpful or if you have any more questions or if you want a tutorial on kind of like the basics of actually navigating this inside of GoodNotes. So that's it. Have a good one.